So, hi guys. Sorry for the crap, for the slight delay, but let let's play another game, shall we? Or for playing a game at least, please, because when I played the base game, I mean, I was I was asked recently whether uh, I find the base game at all exciting in Settlers of Catan since. I'm so used to cities and nights, and to be honest, I only find it exciting A with four players and play, and B when you play it sort of strategically. Uh, just for having fun of it and exploring a little bit, uh, the base game is not terribly useful, I have to admit. So I'm in fourth position right now, which is actually not the position I prefer in the, the base game. Oh, uh, somebody needs to reopen the cheap port. But the 4 in 10 was actually my favorite spot on this port. And unfortunately it has been taken, so I need to consider something else. Maybe the 6 9 3. Together with the 6311, maybe? Or the 84, the 85? The 85 with the sheep port is actually quite, quite interesting, but I, I would need to place the second settlement on the 693, where the 6085 sort of wears off its own value a little bit. I could also do the 9, 10, 11, or the 5, 4, 11. But that doesn't all seem to be very exciting. I will go for the 6, 9, 11, and the 6, 9, 3, I suppose. So the 9, 10, 11 will surely be taken. So I will place my vote up. It's the only way that makes sense. Since I think the 6, 11, 12 will be left open. Uh, and let's go for the brick port, maybe. Yes, it's not a great setup. I have very low production of wood, for example. For example, also my grain production isn't all that great. I'm also a little bit dependent on 3 and 6 rolling. So yeah, it's improvable to say, to say the least. But I think it's the best position I could have had given my starting spot. But the 5-8 with the sheep port was actually somewhat somewhat interesting of an alternative at least. I don't want you to actually get that sheep port. I want someone to settle right there. Because that would be pretty strong if you if you just got there naturally without Someone settling there, and unfortunately he will, since the 5 4, 11 is still open, and you, of course, will take that. As I expected, the 6 11 12 is open, and the game starts with a nice roll for me, a 3. I really need 3s and 6s to produce. The robber that unfortunately could go with me. I suppose on my 9 brick, possibly. Yes, that's unfortunate. He steals my ore, which I really need. So a 6 would now be nice, not another 7. But guys, I've already been stolen from, steal from someone else. But unfortunately, uh, whether maybe the four or no, he goes on the three, which is also reasonable, I guess, since every player except himself are on it is on it. That's not my number at all. Since I produced double on the six, I should actually spend some products and build a road. The question whether I want the six, eleven, twelve, really first. Or do I value the 3 to 1 point with the doubling up on the ore actually a little more since I need ore for my cities? 
and sheep is not, it's not rare. Yeah, I value the free to one port a little more actually. Another seven it is, so everyone has won seven except for Duki Finch. For Duki Finchy, which is just par for the, par for the course, that's just how the game works. And of course he steals from me again, I suppose. No, he steals from green this time, okay. But it's really bad having my brick blocked anyway. It's another eight, another number which I don't produce. No, not not trading. I I mean my wood is a fairly rare resource for me. So it's six, so I could buy a development card and hope for maybe for a night. Oh, I, I wrote a seven myself. That's unusual. unusual, something that doesn't usually happen. So I, I will block ore. Ore is a valuable product. And I, I should consider who has brick, and it's red. So I should steal from red. No. But I can buy a development card and hope maybe for a night. No, it's an inventor, which is also nice to bring to bring me either a settlement or maybe even a city if I can. So an inventor it, it it's called a year of plenty actually in English I think, but I always call it the inventor still. Because in Germany it's called invention, literally. Yeah. This this card brings you two free products of choice. So maybe give me a, two ores now, or an ore and a weed, so I can invent my way to a city. I would, of course, prefer a city over a settlement. Yes. Yes, I can play the inventor for two ores now, and that will bring me my city, which I will immediately do, since city hang up that 6 nine free spot should actually give me quite some benefits. There we already have it. I produced double ore. Which is nice. Double brick is also nice. Yes, I can do that. That's a good trade. I, I don't produce that much wheat and I really need some wheat. <laughs> I would now, of course, need a free to get my wood back, but maybe I draw a road building or something like that from the development card deck and I actually don't need to get my wood back. Or another inventor, which would also be nice. This is bad, because I've had got too many cards. I can discard some of that sheep, I suppose. Yeah, discard two sheep and two ores. That seems reasonable. So does anyone have any wood? I don't think so. Does anyone have any grain? Possibly yes. And I think blue is the best bet. No. Uh, so, let's buy another development card. A knight, okay, so I can chase the robber away, which is... Which is good. Of course, I would prefer having a city. Yeah, blocking my wood is bad. That needs to go immediately. But not by this seven, because he will steal from me again. It's basically, I don't know, the most games I play end up being free against one against me. It's just... I don't know if it's my name or the color that I play. Yes, everybody sevens me. <laughs> and of course, I'm the only one not rolling a seven. For once, the robber doesn't go with me. That's an unusual sight. <laughs> So I should really roll a free now, but that's unlikely, of course. 
I would of course also take a six or a seven on my own my own world so I can steal a product from someone. Another inventor would have been nice for my settlement. I don't see that happening. At least the floor is blocked. Nice, but I can't do anything, of course, on this turn. Again, at least the floor is blocked. But he chases it away. He has, of course, a knight. And steals from me. Now, now at least he can't steal from me again, since I don't have any cards left. He that not produce a grain, okay. I need to trace that one more away immediately and... I'm a little bit scared of blue in the long run. Since blue getting on that cheap port... is giving him a really strong position. Oh, everyone... Everyone produces wood? Yeah, I, I, I don't ask for it. Yeah, don't. Don't think that's any useful right now. I don't produce, unfortunately. Really need another three or six to get going. No, five this, that's bad. Oh, I can I produce two bricks, okay. Maybe I can ask to trade, but I don't think anyone will be all that interested in trading. Yeah, this game is not going terribly well. Especially since Blue has that really strong port now. Green also settles. I mean, yes, I'm the only one with a city, obviously, but... I don't know if that's actually enough. I would need to see the up both my spots to, to really get anything going in this game because I'm a little low on wheat now. I, I don't have a city on it. 6 3 11 up there. Eight is not my number. So, anyone want to change the wood for a brick? I don't think so. But asking never costs anything. Is a quite popular German saying, actually. Yeah. Yeah. It's not a grain. Which is nice, since I'm a little bit low on grain in the long run. Compared to, like, ore, which I produce on six. Yeah. But... In order for that to matter, the six actually needs to roll for once. No, I don't have a wood. I only have bricks and grain, which are resources I think everybody has. Oh, green produces a wood on twelve. Yes, 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 yes. Do you want to break? Do you want to break? Uh, two ores. No, 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 I would never do that. Ore is one of the most valuable products in Settles of Catal. And I produce it myself. Which is fine, I could ask for another ore. That would really, really help my game tremendously. I don't know guys, is, is it with you, uh, can you sort of relate to the fact that it doesn't really sit well every time you say the word tremendous or tremendously since it reminds you of a former US president? I don't know. That word 
somehow that word feels wrong since then. Of course, it is just a normal English vocabulary. But still, I don't, I don't feel right when I say it. So I can fall for one any bricks now, possibly for wood, so we can get my settlement. No, I don't need another brick. That ore is way more, way more valuable in the long run than a brick. That's another settlement. Blue, Blue is really having a good game. Especially since that 8 produces him a free resource for his sheep port. But every time it rolls. And the 10 produces everybody except for me wood. This is not going terribly well. At least I should be able to ask for a sheep. Yeah, Green also has a city. At least a free. So I can now at least ask for a sheep. Yeah, what do people want? I, I just leave the question open. Especially in blue. Blue has the most sheep. Two bricks. Okay, let's do it. So now the question is, should I really settle right here, or should I go for another spot like the 6, 11, 12? And I think now the other spot is actually more valuable to me. I also don't want green taking it. But the six, if I settle on the 6 or that 6 or is just going to be way too much of a blocking target. And uh, since I since I dropped it last road, I already uh, sealed up my six line three. So so producing more ore is not that much of a much of a priority right now. The four is blocked. Okay, that's fine. But yeah, blue is really in a, in a good spot still. He will easily take long throat, I suppose. He gets two grain for a brick. Okay, I can do that. I'm, I'm a little bit lower grain, and red is... Red is not the dangerous player to begin with. And I'm not interested in that grain port anyway. So, yeah, I really need... There's not a free to roll. Oh, six. Oh, seven. Okay, I will take it. Since I, I need to be stealing from blue, and I also need to be getting in a wood or a sheep. Nope, not this time. Anyone want to trade me that back for a sheep? So I can at least buy a development card. That doesn't seem to be in the game this time. Yeah. I will risk it. I need to risk it. I mean, passing the dice with seven cards isn't something I'm terribly a fan of usually, but I'm not for for running my valuable, valuable grain. And he goes only with me, so I need to play my knight before the roll next turn, probably, because the six is too valuable. In general, I get asked a lot, like, do I play the knight before or after my roll? And uh, my my rule of thumb is uh, if it's on a five, six, eight, or nine, play before your roll. If it's on a ten or anything less, after the roll. The thing is, of course, if you play it before the roll, you it might not have been necessary since you rolled a seven anyway. If you play it after the roll, you might miss out on the production. And, and also you might give someone else a production which they shouldn't have. Yes. 
See, that's, that's an instance when playing before the world pays off, since, since otherwise the aid would have produced for blue. Uh, so I will, I will just ask if anyone wants to, wants to have, uh, give me an ore, but if not, I will of course four for one my brick for ore. Yes, I will have to since my timer is also running out. At City of Discord. That's a really nice work for me now. Producing, producing three sheep and two ore. So yeah, should you play before or after? Uh, it depends on whether like uh, the risk of you losing production plus the risk of somebody else getting production which they don't deserve that outweighs the risk of you rolling a 7 anyway. And of course 7 is the most likely number in the game, so... So you should really add two risks and see if they outweigh the one risk of rolling a 7 anyway. And, uh, in general, it does when your, your, your property that is blocked is of value and like, okay, that's a really, really nice one. So I could buy another city by for for one in the cheap. I could also build settlement by for for one in that grain. Or I could just buy two development cards, and I think all three options are somewhat reasonable, but, uh, I will just ask for a brick for my settlement, uh, without any repercussions. Yeah, red. Brick for wood. Yeah, let's do it, red. Red is not the dangerous, the dangerous player, so I'm very happy to trade with him. And I can buy two development cards, which is really nice. Because one of it is a knight, that brings me... Oh, both are knights, okay. That brings me, uh, the longest. The largest army, which is, uh, brings me to 8 points. It's, oh, he monopolizes my ore, that's bad. Yeah, I need to re really be playing those knights next move. Simply because, uh, maybe the game doesn't last that long at all. Uh, another 6 would really help. I mean, one positive thing about the monopoly is I don't, uh, I'm not in the risk of settling out anymore. So I look now if I got an even or odd number of cards. If I have an even number of cards, I play the knight before the move. With an odd number, I would play it after the roll. And the reason is that in general, if you have, if you seven out, it's, it's slightly better to have an odd number of cards in hand. Since you, you potentially lose less cards. So in this case, I will play the knight before the move. Since, since 12 is an even, even number. I should be stealing from blues, but that, that's a good one. So yeah, it's another 6, and that finishes the game. Since, since I can now 4 for 1, get sheep for grain, and just build 2 cities, and that's it. That's it, guys. Yeah, that was that was actually a quite solid win in the end. But also, since I rolled many sixes, I have to admit I was quite lucky with the six. So let me see how far on my journey to Qatar Universe Elo 1300 I am. 1281, alright, so, it's not a long way uh, since we got to 1300, I'm already on rank number 262. I don't, I don't actually know how many ranks there are, but I think far in excess of like 10 or 20,000, so, rank 262 is not that bad. 
So I, I, I think I will have lunch now. Yeah, hope you, hope you enjoyed it. And see you with the, see you with the next game. Bye. -bye.